Wait. 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 I'm wait. Prepare. Okay. Let's do this. Cross sign is now on. You may cross North High <laughs> Avenue. So welcome back everyone to another uh, session of our Spooky Boy campaign. Um, yeah, it's where, uh, you know, a game where a couple of my good friends and I meet up from across the U.S. and play Dungeons and Dragons on a software known as Fantasy Grounds. Um, each, <laughs> uh, each week we have a featured, well each month we have a featured cocktail. Um, for its third week, we have the Dutch Masters Daiquiri. Probably my favorite cocktail so far, but I'm, I'm trying not to play favorites. If you'd like to see how our cocktails are made, you can pop on over to our Bartender channel. Um, links are down below, and you can also find a link to our website. <laughs> um, we will sh we will upload we'll stream our episodes on Twitch and YouTube 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sundays 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you want any more details or see our schedule, that should also be on our website. Uh, and with that being said, let's get back into the story. So, our adventurers had made their way to Valakai, talked their way out of a sticky situation with the Burgomaster, and left with a few quests. One of them being to check out the Wizards of the Wine Winery, and check on a past due shipment for Irwin, a local tavern owner. So on they went, west down the old Svalich Road once again, um, in search of the winery, but before they made it to the winery, Hella had noticed a lumbering humanoid berserker, and without hesitation, attacked them while they were hiding. This erupted into a fierce battle, but our adventurers came out victorious. A little beat up from the confrontation, but the party continued on their way to the Wizards of Wine winery. Among arriving, they met a, an abrasive old man named Davin, who had beckoned the party over to a shaded tree line um, and told them about his struggles. He was accompanied by eight of his family members um, trying to keep shelter from the rain. Shortly after the conversation began, the party agreed to help Davin and began to approach the winery to clear out the druids and plant creatures that have taken over. But before they could even make it to the winery, Dozens of plants came out of the field and began to swarm the party. Callie and Ismark, rushing to the front of the lines, were able to get Gudrun and Buyo out of the field and into the winery. Now we will pick up with the entrance, or with our, our group at the entrance of the winery. The entrance of the winery barred shut, and everyone, yeah, everyone's in the winery. Don't forget about that hunting trap. I, I mean, I did. I did forget about the hunting trap. Don't forget. Let's Don't forget about it. it. It's there. Don't step on it. It's in front of the other door. Wait. How big is I think that's what I intended at first. Was like the door that we just came in was shut. I intended to put it in the other doorway that was just like open in case anything tried to charge us from inside. That's what I meant, but I don't remember. Is that okay? Yeah, it is. I mean, okay. it's it's currently like a super cramped space. It's a uh, five by five by ten feet. That's what I got. That's why I was like, we got a trap in here now. Uh, yeah, I laid it down. Sorry, I thought I should yeah. keep anything from coming back in the room. The other, the open door. Yeah. yeah just just think about how small it was. You know, you know, just just watch where you're going. Okay. Um. So I, 
am actually going to try to remember how I do this. <clears throat> yeah. A man. Boyo. Boyo, are you okay? Uh, I've been. I've been worse, Gudrun. Oh, thank the gods. Indeed. Yeah, I don't Hope know. You're into that. I'm into whatever right now. Whatever is keeping me alive. Someone help Luyo. Someone. I, uh, I wouldn't turn down a little extra something, something. You know what Luyo, I'm saying? I might have something for you. What is it, Helena? I start rifling through my bag, um, pulling out several things. Uh, put stuffing, stuffing back in the bag, like a dagger, a rat, a hairbrush. <laughs> then I pull out one of these, a potion of healing. Oh. I wish I could. Um, like it. So. I will. Because we found out you had it. I will hand you (laughs) this potion of healing. My last one. (laughs) Here, this is my potion of healing I've been holding for just an emergency like this. For just you. Just for me, Helena. Use it now if you'd like. I would Uh, like to use it now. uh, Can can everyone everyone see? uh, Uh, Yeah, see. uh, can that do anything? I think I'm I'm the one that has to use it, right? Just yes. Roll. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. just roll. One. It's a two D four plus two hit points. Two D four. Okay. Come on, boo yo. Is, is that based on anything, or is it just plus two? One D four plus two. Two D four plus two. Ooh, that's eight. You're that's a real boy. Nice. I'm a real boy. Holy shit. What is 8 minus 22 is 14. All right. So what are you at right now? I'm at medium goodness. So, um, you look around and seven of you, just for uh, simplicity, are crammed into this this tiny closet with a hunter's trap on the ground. Um, There are bare hooks that line the walls of the storage room. Shelves to the south hold several pairs of stained wooden sandals with oversized soles. Um, The door to your left is the one that you barred closed, and the one to your right hangs open. Um, The room is also fitted with iron brackets that... Um, look like they were used to probably hang coats. And that's about it. Is that stage right or stage left that the door is open? Uh, it would be... Oh, stage shit, right. shit, I got... Yeah, the it would, door's open. Yeah, it would, it would be... No, the, the door by the stairs left would be barred closed. Okay. The door to the right is wide open. And it is a, a little dark in here, so anyone without dark vision cannot see very well. Helena, I don't know how I could see that you were have given me a potion of healing, but I greatly appreciate it. You can see right in front of you. Oh. There, there is there is some natural light. Like there's a few windows here and there. Um, but the sun is starting to crest over the horizon, and uh, your light is fleeting. Well, guys, I can always create a bonfire. Uh, That's I probably not the best idea inside. To to us. Okay. Yeah. Do we want some flames at all? Maybe it would help against any more plant creatures. That well, torch. We keep our voice down. Oh, don't sorry. worry. This is me whispering. I have like literally 16 torches. Let's pass some of these babies out and I'm gonna pass them. What? <laughs> I'll take one. No, thank you. I will not. It's, it's Mark doesn't take one either. But Helena does. Or uh, Irina does. Sorry. Four of them handed out. I 
I'd love to stay yeah. in the chat, but what are we doing? We gotta get out of here. Well, before we walk off, does anyone have anything else to help? Either uh, to help Mr. Bouillo or myself. I'm allergic to, to grass, so I feel these well, plants have severely wounded me. I think that if we if we could take like a I don't know, an hour or two rest right here. I don't think this is the safest could, place to do that. I think it's as safe as any. We've got a bar door, we've got two door oh, one Lord. other door. We could shut that one. You do hear this occasional scratching like nails on the chalkboard at the door to your left. We can ignore that. I think you can give it a try, but I don't think that's gonna last. I can play some soft so melodic tunes in order to just closet. to just uh, bolster our our feelings and our our happiness, and then we can so move on after that. Maybe some a cappella. No, 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 no. A cappella could work. I was thinking just like fucking at the the fiddle. Oh, that that'd be you know, uh, much better than the bow. <clears throat> oh, I'm in. I'll love to take a rest. All right. So you close the door to your right and try to find a corner. Um, I think we all just huddle, huddle together, shoulder to shoulder. Sure. Um, and you begin to rest. Um, you sit there and you hear the constant scratching on the left door. But eventually, it stops. Probably about 15 minutes into you trying to be quiet. You don't hear any rustling around outside. Um, I, I want to say I'm not really trying to be quiet. I'm using Song of Rest during this. So I'm I take you, my fiddle out and I'm doing a little, little ditty. Do you, want, do you want to try to be quiet as you do it? I can try to be quiet, yeah. So, yeah, go ahead Go ahead and make a stealth check at disadvantage. At disadvantage? Yes. I think I'm proficient in the fiddle and I can play quietly, but that's fine. Still a fiddle. <laughs> He's plucking instead of the bow, so, I mean, arguably... Hold on, do you have a mute on it? You didn't specify. You could slide the mute up. <laughs> it doesn't work for plucking it. Oh, shit. That's why I'm banned on string. <laughs> so, what was the check that I'm doing? Stealth. 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 At disadvantage. All right, all right, all right. All right. Pew. Uh, nice. Uh, six. All right, good to know. Is this song last? Lasts all the time. <laughs> All the time. This is a song. You just hear Booya start screaming. This is a song <laughs> that never ends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so while you're all crammed in this room, I just want everyone to roll straight D twenty. Okay. I like the sound of that. Four. He's not gonna tell us what it's for. Seven. Fellow. No, I meant like I literally rolled a four. I know. That's where I wasn't commenting on that. Oh, uh, I was like four. <laughs> what? I wasn't asking. Never mind. Fifteen. Seventeen. Helena's happy she's not the dead weight. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's all me. Are you so, on dead weight, or what's wrong with you? I can't tell. You all wait about an hour, and uh, due to the due to the cramped situation, you know it's kind of difficult for you to find find good rest. But um, some of you manage to, and uh, you can go ahead and take your short rest. And everyone gets one d six of extra healing. All right. Because right. of the loud song that I sang. Have not taken any damage. That's for Callie, no. However, 
I would like to use my natural recovery ability to yeah, recover can. two spell slots, and I can't. I'm gonna do this one. Or D6. Ooh, noise. And I'm gonna use one hit die. Oh. Did you say can't, DM? Can. With T? Oh, with, T. With an N. Okay, no, okay, okay. no apostrophe. Two hit die. There we go. Alright, I'm good. I will take one second level spell. Alright. <laughs> So, um, if everybody is set, if everybody's set, um, you have your rest. Now, what would you like to do? What was that scratching we heard? You guys, it has to be the plants. Yeah, On the inside? The plans, I think the scratching was from the outside. It's from the outside. Oh, well, of course. Okay. Ooh, you're unconscious. Maybe you didn't see. There are a lot of plants. I took a few of them out. I, I think I hit five, maybe six. It's very bold and brave of you. You guys did kill a lot of plants. We're pretty awesome like that, you know. Well, I suppose there's only one way to go. Outside leads to the plants, so we must venture inside. We can start a new family here, a new life. Who's gonna lead? I know Gudrun can't really see. I can see. And Gudrun can see. Oh, wait, you do. I have that good old dark vision. I have this is fine. He's an orc man. Orc. I, are you an orc man? can't see because he can't perceive things. <laughs> that is true. I am not as quick on the fly, but. Usually his eyes. I can literally I, see. I could send the owl at him. But... <laughs> I would, I would I like. I owl can get in this, uh, this closest space. Is it safe for a bird to fly inside? I would, I would like a single file, um, marching order as you walk through this one door. When you do, uh, I vote is Marcus first. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, <laughs> don't yeah. suggest something like that. Um, I, I don't, I don't mind being in the first. It's just I'm having a kind of difficult time seeing. Oh, uh, okay. Like That's why I try to handle the torch, right I guess. <laughs> All right, well, I'm I'm I'll, I'll take the lead. If, or, yes, uh, just follow right behind me. Follow right behind me. I'll be your guy. I'll be the I front. I right behind Gudrun with the, a lit torch. So we doing a, we're doing light? I'm doing light. I like to see. Okay, so if, yeah. if we are for sure lighting torches, then it's Mark can go in front. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Okay. If you guys want to. Or do we want? Uh, okay. I don't know why we wouldn't. How does his mark look? Um, after the long, or after the short rest, he definitely has some, like he's still pretty beat up from the vines and stuff. Like there's some like scratches on his face. You could see like his shirt's kind of stained through his chain mail with some blood, but he's much better than some of you. I might be a light one no matter what we All say. Alright, so. Okay, <laughs> well then. then uh, well, do you mind leading the pack? Uh, yes, Mark, I, I know that you are a great warrior and I would love to be to follow you into battle should we end up there again. That's fine, just look after my sister in the back. Okay. So I'm in the, t I'm in the tail end at the request of Is Mark. Uh, he just meant the group. You don't have okay, to. So she fine. she could go right in front of Helena. Which would Helen be fine. Be back there too. I'll, I'll go right in <laughs> after his mark tip. That's fine. I'll toss a roach or two the way to keep a lookout. So you got... Um, I need Booyah and Madonis. Who wants to go behind Gudrun? Who wants to go in front of Callie? I'll go behind Gudrun. Okay, so you got Ismark, Gudrun, Buyo, Adonis, Callie, Irina, Helena. So when we got to be in the back, huh? I guess so. They voted for it. As if, as if we had a vote. <laughs> you, you said last. Like, you know what people say first, but you said last. Well, she just typed it, actually, being discreet. Just hid back there. Didn't say anything about it. 
we all know how his tendencies by now. All right. So you open the door and light illuminates the room in front of you. I expected just a bunch of plant dots. Gotta be real. They're not there yet. Under those tables. Um, so, you open the door and you are greeted with a rich smell of fermenting wine. It fills this large two-story chamber, which is dominated by four enormous wooden casks. Each one are about eight feet wide, 12 feet tall. Um, There's a wooden staircase in the center of the room that climbs to the 10-foot tall wooden balcony that clings to the south wall, which has four windows set into the balcony level. Stacked against the wall underneath the balcony are old, empty barrels with... The wizards of wine, or the wizards of, yeah, yeah, wizards of wine burned into their sides. The balcony climbs another five feet, and it continues along the west and east walls, ending at doors leading to the winery's upper level. Underneath these side balconies are several doors, some of which hang open. Beneath the sloping roof stretch thick rafters, upon which scores of ravens have quietly gathered. They watch you with great interest. These ravens creep me out. Are these ravens? Is, so how do we know that it's not like your owl? Someone is controlling them, watching us with them. I thought ravens were good news for us. No, they were just don't kill them. And also, I think they warn us. I can't remember what she said. It was it was bad luck to kill him, and um, one did like try to try to help you out. Yeah. So you kind of file in. Look at all those legs. Beneath this uh, beneath this yeah. rafter, higher and giz. Rubber giz. This picture. <laughs> Um, the, the row of the seven of us just like going practically so as you walk in I was gonna ask how would you like to disperse in this room just hang out hang out on this north wall or is there I'd, a, I'd like to check out the the south just just the girls in the south just immediately like six to six seconds what's the first thing you're doing Going south. Okay, so you head this way instead. Uh, Hana has no immediate reaction. I'm gonna follow the light because I need light. I'm gonna stand in the middle of the room it's, and it's just kind of scan. Well, this room's lit. Oh, sorry. I think we um, lit it. Well, this this you do have torches. You can see some light from the four windows while there is some light. Like I said, it is fleeting though. Uh, buddy okay. system's best anyway. Let's A B. He okay. said there was light in the room, and I assumed it was lit. So, as you walk in, you hear the balcony creak, drawing your eyes to, let's see, I guess everyone but Callie, Gudrun, and Ismark would look up and be able to see um, this wild-eyed looking figure hunched over the westernmost cask. It is currently pouring a flask of thick syrup into it. She wears a gown made of animal skins and a headdress with goat horns. Her hair is long and unkept. Suddenly you see something skittering across the floor. It looks like a tiny creature made of twigs. It moves from its hiding place under the stairs and disappears behind the most easternmost cask. So there, it's above the cask. Wait, who doesn't see it again? It would be Callie, Gudra, and Ismark, because they are underneath the balcony, which is oh, right. dashed line. Oh, 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 okay, gotcha. So, currently, I need everyone to roll initiative, just so we go, just so we go in, a, in order here. I only 
I get 70% of the initiative of my male counterparts. <laughs> yeah, that's 80 <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um, You tied with the Tally, by the way, Helen. That's good. All right. So we will, I don't know if everybody's rolled, but we'll do 25 to 20. 22. Uh, Callie got 22. Don't forget about yourself. I didn't get 22. Uh, I guess so. Okay, 20. 20 to 15. I got 16. 15. And Dallas got 20. Nine. Oh, nine. Oh, you, oh, oh, shit. Shit. oh, that 20 is for Cali. Okay, so oh. what what was the 20 through 15? Sorry, I was I was thrown off. Cali got 22. Yeah, we got 16. Okay. Good Good got 15. <laughs> okay. Helena's about to shoot Eldrick Blast like it's out of a t-shirt cannon up to the second level. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, okay, Gudrun, you were the 16 or the 15? I was the 15. Okay, so Booyah is the 16? Yes. Anyone else 16? Am I missing something? No. No. Okay. So then I need 15 to 10. I got 9, so that's... Just check Testa. Okay. Oh, I'm the only one there. Oh, it's Chuck Testa. Um. So Adonis with a nine. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Mm, that's my roll. Mm-hmm. All right, Helena. No, nope, Helena's first. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I got all of you. So, Helena and Callie are up first. What would you? Let's see. Can I still see anything? Yeah, you can. You can see this right here. Oh, so it didn't. It didn't spray you away. It did not. Does it look like it notices us? You can try to perceive that. I will try to perceive that with a perception check, and I perceive that. I'm in a room, and it is dark. What you? What you? Roll? I rolled a six. Okay. Uh, it, you can't really tell if she's paying attention to you or not. Uh. Okay. And with my movement, I would like to creep up to Gudrun. Do 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 do. Very sneaky, like. So that I can whisper to him. Gudrun, there's somebody up there. Go oh, see some, some, up, some, shh, somebody shh, up shh. where? On the balcony, on the balcony. Be cool. And then for Callie, she, she doesn't see you. Callie does not know it's up there. Uh, she'll just stay with Irina. Because, as Mark said, protect her. All right. Um, she can move back to keep an eye on the door we came out of, I'll say. All right. Make a perception check for Tally. Boy. Uh, she gets Oops. A five. Earthquake. The vertigo is setting in. <laughs> Helena pukes on the ground. Stealthily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm Gudrun's shield. Stealthily. You all see the figure disappear. But you hear something. Um, Helena. Well, actually... Everyone can hear random shit. It's a language. Helena, I need you to make a perception check. Right now, I'm just picturing the <laughs> from the twenty-three the mask kid. <laughs> so all of you hear this like 
it's it's kind of an elegant language, but primal in a sense also. Helena, you understand it as druidic. And um, you hear the creature, this this woman in like a cackling voice say, Arise, arise to the occasion. Cheers, Lord. Um, I'll let you guys all know what she said in one minute. <laughs> uh, Irina. Um, I reckon it's just gonna move up a little bit. Got a blast. Um, she saw it moving around and wants to be close to others. Emerging from the eastern cask, you see five of these very familiar plant creatures that you four, sorry. Four of these very familiar plant creatures that you saw outside. And they skitter across the floor. And they're going to attack this mark. Also, I pulled the wrong stat block and gave them the right health, but the wrong attack. Last so- week? So yeah. so they so they hit a lot harder than they should. Yeah, that's why. That like, makes a lot of sense. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Why am I taking twelve damage from fucking flakes? Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyways, so my wounds are fake. These are no, fake no. wounds. Uh, they're real. They mistakes with Cali too. So yeah, they, re- they were real last time. They might not be the same this time though. Anyway, so okay, two of them are. <laughs> Two of them are gonna hit us, Mark. Which I don't remember how much health he has. Ben, no, they could be other other types of lights. They could be swamp lights. I don't. Yeah. I thought they were maybe like, like uh, a bunch of them hit at once. I wasn't paying attention. You know what? They're just like, they're just really strong outside. Okay. Yeah, they were. Kind of <laughs> they beat off the moonlight and the soil. Okay. The soil. There's no moonlight, so that's. They're straw plants. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Now, now more so. Okay. So actually, it is this Mark's turn. So he's gonna draw his long sword and short sword both and make three attacks, one on each twig. He's got a natural twenty and then another hit. Hell yeah. So he actually just makes quick work of two of these twig twiggies. You see him just kind of break. But as quick as the other two, or the, those four arrived, eight more come skittering out of this cask. God dang it. If only we'd have looked to the left and saw all the enemies we've had to fight. Um, so... <laughs> They're going to attack uh, Gudrun here. Come at me, little twiggies. They deal 44 points of damage. Okay. So all four of them... So the lowest the lowest rolls a 15. What is your armor class? 15. Um, oh, actually, the lowest was a 17. Sorry. So yeah, all, all, all four of them hit. Okay. See, that's for seven points of damage six. each. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's thir- 13, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. 13 points of bludgeoning? Yes. Oh my god. Alright, Booyo, it is now your turn. Is that staircase uh, north facing or south facing? Yep. North face. Yep. Okay. I. Mm. So that that little that little the little break is supposed to be the. Um, the top. Yeah, it's, it's a little hard to see, but I think I get it. I first thing I would like to do is give Adonis a point of inspiration. With some, one d six. How are you inspiring him? I want to let him know that. No, you haven't been in the fight much, but this is your chance right now. Good job. Or good luck. 
the backhanded inspirations. Are <laughs> do I do a one d four instead? Like do <laughs> minus something? <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll see. You think this subtracted from? <laughs> you're feeling. You're feeling very. Uh, I was just uh, wondering what did I not do motivated. last time. I'm confused. motivated. I don't know where it's dissipated. Says the guy with all the wizard with all of his spell slots. Um. All but one. I use cantrips. It's fine. It's fine. With my movement, I would like to um, go beneath the barrels to uh. the south and kind of position myself to the, the west of the staircase. That's doable. Uh, yeah, right there. And ready, underway as a second level spell. So, this would be the, the bottom of the stairs. Right. Okay. You got it. What's the trick? Uh, if the triggers, if any twigs come near me. So, is that a 15 foot cube or a 10 foot cube? It is a 15 centered on myself. Okay, okay, thank you. So, as you see all these twigs sort of skittering out of the cask and everything, um, you notice the ravens up in the rafters begin to stir. And there's a large swarm of ravens that now come down and they whoosh right behind, like right by around Helena, Gudrun, and Ismark's head, like flying in between them. And you watch the one of them just start to tear apart one of the, the swarm just start tearing apart these twig monsters. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. I knew they were our friends. Yes. So Gudrun, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm nervous. Okay, how many are in the group below me? I know four. I can't see the number. Okay, there's something on there. Four, and then above me. Four. Four. Okay. Perfect. And ask about the other one. Diagonal uh, from you? And the other one? Uh, the one by Ismark, there's one. Oh, and then the other one? That's the Ravens? Yep. Okay. I, I did think we did. Um, and on the side of the board over there? Uh, that's... The black? Oh, oh no, that's that's like Callie and Irina and no, Adon. No, 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 further left. Like oh. Like over there by the red dot. Oh, no, these, these are condition squares. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. Um, I am going to disengage and use my movement to go over by Callie. <laughs> and as bonus action, enter my rage. And as I enter my rage, a lightning bolt shoots out at the single... Can I use it at the single plant? What's the range? Uh, I think it's... Oh, you know what? It might only be 10 feet. Might not work. Where is that? Storm or uh, ten feet. Uh, you are out of range of all of them. All of them. Okay. Well, then I'm just gonna lightning into the ground. <laughs> Try to scare them. Yeah, they're intimidated. Sure. Um, you actually see two additional swarms of ravens come down and start tearing apart these twigs. I really thought those were going to be more plants. Like, well, That's see you fun. later, Ismark. <laughs> um, but... Start, but don't let these ravens take me away. They can pick me up. It's real. I'm real life. Or become a super weapon. <laughs> Flying I don't know if I... I don't know if I... the loot. The ravens. It's all the middle. It's an inspiration. So, Booyo... Another group of four do come out of that cask and approach you, which triggers your underwear, which is a constitution check. Yes. 
Um, that's a 17, 19, 18, and a 15. Weighted dice. What is yeah, your... They, what all is your save. they all save, so they take half damage? I think it's 14 is... Yeah, they take half... Okay, they take half damage. Yes. Second level spell. Yes, so you roll so. 2d8. 3d8. 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 3d8? I'm just going to double check that. If I can ever find my actions, there it is. Yes. 3d8. Okay. So, seven points of damage. Seven points. All of them. Because they all saved. Five plants. Yeah. You, uh, you destroyed the whole cluster. Yeah, I did. But you all hear this loud... Clark! Throughout the entire winery, the ground is just shaking underneath Julio as these creatures just fall apart. Sounds oddly familiar. <laughs> uh, Adon- Adonis, you're up. Um, that was really cool, Julio. Holy shit. Uh, what do I even do? Let's see. Have things that are cool. <laughs> um, I'm gonna step in front of Irina. Give a good old uh, fashioned firebolt. And uh, does Bardic Inspiration you've denounced before? Uh, no, you roll. Before no. you know the result, you can add it. Right. Do you want top or bottom cluster? The, the one that's like closest. okay, okay. So, that'll be a bottom cluster so yeah 19 to hit one of the that the hits monsters and then uh, <coughs> three damage you see Adonis point out his hand and this quick bolt of light or fire comes out of his fingertips lighting one of the twigs on fire and it just falls into a pile of ash Be that there, Chief. Okay, there, bud. Uh, Good one, Adonis. Smiles awkwardly into Thunder's dirt. I saw through the, the little crack that I have right there. And oh, God. There was only one person who could have cast a, that spell. Yeah. <laughs> so there are <laughs> there are two more groups of four that come out one approaching Ismark one approaching Buyo but a fourth swarm of ravens come down and uh, start taking apart um, one of the twigs in the group by Buyo um, so the Three now standing at Buyo will go ahead and attack. That's a six, a 21, and a 14 to hit. What is your armor class, Buyo? 13. 22. 21. <laughs> Damn, Hamlin, how do you have that all in yet? That is nine, nine points of bludgeoning damage, Buyo. Nine points. I'm sure you let a baby bird that health potion into your mouth. <laughs> Let's see, and now for Ismark, oh my god, 15, 20, 18, 12, two hits. He takes five points of damage. Is that from group one? That's from group six. DM's got to stop rolling high at some point. Yep. It's not going to be out. Um, so we're going to start at the top of the order. We got Helena and Callie. Helena is going to shout... Guys, we have to get the, the lady upstairs. She's summoning the, the plants. We have to. We have to. And then I'm going to put a bully wug under, under his mark. Uh, and then uh, as my action. Okay. I need to come prepared with a, a bully wog next week. And with my movement, um, I'm going to run over by... 
Irina? That's Irina. Yeah. I'm trying to scoot by Adonis if I can. Yeah. So I can go on the other, the south side of the arena. Yeah, you have enough I'll suck it in. That. You have enough movement to, for that to be difficult terrain. You still get there. So there is a healing spirit sitting inside of his mark. There's not a, hugging him like normal. The bullywog spirit is inside of him. Oh, I was I was gonna say there's a bullywog like all four limbs wrapped around this mark, but okay. No, it's, it's deep within him. He can feel it. Oh my it's god. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> any healing kind of way. Uh, so Callie, it's your I, turn. I think I can see that just through the corner of the eye, and I'm a little bit insulted that I did not get that kind of treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Blue goes by confirmed. I'm going to move. So the ravens are like, I don't want to hit the ravens with it. So I'm going to aim down with it, I assume. Uh, but move to the right. Here. And um, try to get in the line with those two sets of uh, sticks, guys. Because I don't want to hit the crows, but I assume they're like coming down, swooping, and attacking. Crows? They're ravens. Whatever. Dark birds. Ooh, there's three. <laughs> That's messed up. You can try, but there's a, still a chance you might hit both sets. Um. No, I'm not gonna make her character kind of fluffy or whatever. Freaking birds and his walk in the way. Birds! <laughs> magic missile is gonna be possible. So. Wild magic, here we go. Um, the lucky spell. Second level magic missile. So I get four? Yep. Four. Um. I'm just gonna hit nice. the I don't know. Okay, and there are three of them in that cluster, so then you can also hit just another one. Okay. Uh, four plus one. Oops, that's too many. That's too many. So I put it in there. So? No. So it's, um, so one gets five, one gets three, and one gets five in that first group. Okay. And then in that second group, one gets two. So you see this force energy come out of Cali and these like three or four white bolts come out and explode into these twigs. Most of them are like barely standing. Um, like right. they're- For that one, can I use, uh, no, never mind. So you see, you see all of them in that first group, like limbs, part of their humanoid form, missing like limbs, arms and legs, barely standing, and uh, one actually completely fell fell apart in that group. Yeah, that's where she'll be. I mean. All right, so you see, you see Irena like rush up to her brother's side and start stabbing wildly with her rapier at one of these twig monsters, and it actually falls apart. Um, this mark is going to take his normal three attacks with a 14, 16, and 11. So uh, two of them will hit, swish, swish, and two swish. of them will die. Oh, dang it. And then, so there's two left in this, this bottom group that attack this mark. You see these vines like kind of wrap around him, puncturing his skin. Um, and now I have Julio, you're up. So, I'd like to take my rapier in one hand, my empty fist in the other. I want to slash at one, and then, if I can, use a bonus offhand action to just punch another twig in the face. Sure. Go ahead and use, or make a, your attack roll for your rapier. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, no. Actions. There we go. Rapier attack is uh, six. So you you go to go to pierce one of these plants or skinny form, just kind of being able to dodge your blade. Um, you stumble forward a little bit though, trying to attack one. I'll say you weren't able to keep your footing for the unarmed strike. So that's a disadvantage, or it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Okay. If you want to hit, I was going to give it to you, but. Um, the swarm of ravens continue to just tear at these creatures as you're fighting them. Um, Gudrun, Europe, and then Adonis. Okay, hit. What? What? Uh, when's his mark after Gudrun? Uh, no, he just it's, it's mark already one. He was before Booyah. Uh, oh, he's supposed heal. to heal. Oh, sorry. What is, do you roll? Yeah, you roll for that, right? Yeah, unless he's a construct or undead, I'm just gonna throw that out there. He is neither of those. Maybe he heals three. Maybe. You uh, really are. Heals zero. We should bring this up with him later. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got it. Gudrun and Adonis. Okay. Can I move within ten feet of the nearest plant? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know. I'm not feeling good right now. Um, all right, so I'm going to move there, and I'm going to take out one of my, my last remaining hand axe, and I'm going to whip it at that at, uh, the plant. Um, not the one I'm 10 feet from, but, like, right on the other side of his mark. Sure. Yes. Just one plant over there. All right, go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay. And a seven. You watch this axe fly by all these twig blades, almost hitting one of the ravens in this cluster, and they part out of the way, and it just goes like skittering and hits the hits the wall over here, just laying on the ground. Okay. Okay. As a bonus action, the one closest to me, I'm just gonna you know. Boom hold the hand out and just a bolt of lightning is just going to erupt at it. Sure, go ahead and roll damage. As you watch a crackling bolt of lightning come out of Gudrun's hand and explode in one of these trees. Three damage. You see like three quarters of its body is all charred and not moving, but it still has like a right leg and a right arm limping towards you to attack. Nice. And uh, that's going to be it. Okay. This swarm is just going to move here and to um, Where are you at? Six. Okay. Two more twigs get ter- torn apart by swarms of ravens. Adonis, get up. birdies. Oh, he may be muted. How far up the stairs can he get? That's what I'm talking about. If you dash. Dodge, like dodge action, try to run past everything. Okay. Am I able to make it? I don't so know. 10, how 15, 20. So you could actually just, you could get five, five feet up the stairs. If you take your disengage, you would be on your way up. Um, no, I'm going to do dodge so that I, everything has disadvantage against me until my next turn. Oh, okay, so you'd only be able to, well, yeah, you'd still be able to get there. Yeah. 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 I just wouldn't, I'd yeah, yeah. provoke the opportunity attack. It would be- You're still next to it, so you don't. Yeah. Chill. I'd be dodge. Sure. Um, there are more plants attacking Ismark and Bouillo. Let's see, one hits Ismark. Okay, and then Bouillo. This is a, oh Jesus Christ, a 20, a 20, and a 17 to hit. Oh, no. He sees 21. <laughs> 
Um, well, just because I feel mean. Oh, oh, they're all a uh, one, one, and a two. So I rolled low on damage at least. That's seven points of damage for three hits. Seven points. I can do seven points. The ravens descend from the balcony and lift up Uriel's corpse <laughs> heel, carrying it out into the fields of the winery. It's never seen again. As the angels were singing a glorious chorus, but alas, only Buyo could hear and he was dead. Some say they heard fiddles as the ravens carried him off. Carried him off. As as these like twigs turn their attention to attack you, though, this swarm of ravens behind disassembles one of them in front of you, and the other two seem to be focusing on that one. The, the swarm of ravens now. So it's the top of the round. I got Helena, Callie. Uh, how does Ismark look at this point? Um, he's, you know, he's got like vines up his nose and he's punctured. And a Probably better. I don't know. Mm. He's, he's, a tough, spirit. he's a tough boy. Holy Wook Spirit's gonna make its way out of, out of Ismark. Like a rap, wrap itself around you. He winces as he walks away. Oh, hello there, little okay. frog. Is that a bonus action to move it? It is a bonus action. Okay. And Helena will move up by the entrance door where they came in, so she could get a clear line of sight on the plants there, ten feet in front of Gudrun. Okay. And she will attempt to Eldritch Blast one of them. How many are in that group still? There is two in that group. She will pick the ugliest looking twig monster. Sure. And Eldritch Blast it. And it goes a little something like this. That's eight to hit, which would have done (laughs) one point of damage. You see, you see the sickly green energy just arc past it, slamming into the staircase right behind Adonis. Callie, you're up. Jesus Christ. Drawing up behind Irina, Firebolt, or that group behind Adonis. Okie pokey. Go ahead and make an attack roll. He could plus something on this. Yeah, 13 plus... 5. I don't know. It's plus 5. 5. 18 hits. 8. 9. Kelly's a 10. You see this creature get absolutely charred and just falls into a pile of ash immediately from this firebolt that leaves Kelly's hands. Um... She smiles, and that is her turn. Okay. Yeah, Irina is going to make an attack at advantage because it's flanking at the last little big monster in this group. It is going to hit. It is going to kill the last big monster in that group. Ismark is going to take his attacks on the other ones, miss two, and hit with one. Killing the last one in that group. Okay, okay, okay. So now it is uh, Booyah's turn. I'm gonna do the same by himself. Pretty much the same thing that I tried to do last time, but this time I'm gonna notice the crows had made their swooping attacks. I'm gonna target the least, uh, the one paying least attention to me. When you, will, your attack. you will have advantage on this roll, which you I should have gave you last time, but I'm a deck and done, so I'm I'm I was trying to narrate that happening without you saying it. But with the attack of didn't do advantage. Natural twenty. Alright, go go ahead and make your rapier attack. Yas Bullio, yas. I don't know why I did two. Because it oh, automatically does the crit. Oh all right. It doesn't. It doesn't double it though. It the green dice is the second one. Yeah, it rules two. Yeah, that's the crit rule. I don't think I need more than twelve. 
damage. So this is one of the outside plants, not the inside ones. I'm actually just and gonna. And there's there's still two left. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna say with uh, flavor it was such a critical. You just take your rapier and you explode through both of them, doing the exact. You're you're muted. I'm not muted. I just I'm oh, muted. oh you're mouthing. stabbing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> stabbing. That's awkward. Um, stab. You just yeah, stab. You stab. Yeah, you just stab multiple times through the last remaining two, doing exactly the number you had to to kill both. So. Hit him with that halfling uppercut after. I want. Yeah, I wanted to stab him and then punch the other one. <laughs> and you punch. You punch. It's like humanoid shaped plant head right off its shoulders. So now you have a plant. Yeah. Plant shish kebab on your tiny little rapier. Oh, it's a normal size rapier. It's a normal size rapier, but it's above yeah. average, actually. <laughs> Come on down and get some shish kebab. Come on down to Applebee's. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have Gudrun heal. So Gudrun and Adonis, Helena and Callie in that order. Oh, oh wait, I don't you heal. Don't you get heal to roll. Me. You get to do it. <laughs> you get to heal six. Good thing you roll. The yeah, booyah, or not the booyah. <laughs> Feeling a little bully, better now. The bully wug. The bully wug. The bully wug. Gently cresses your hairy massive. Oh my sigh. god. Oh okay, I liked where that was coming. Um. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going. To, oh yeah, I'm going to. Without the threat of plant life, is the bully what he's attached to me, right? So he's going to travel with. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna. He lets go. We do. Do I? I knew someone was up there. Yeah, she whispered to me before. Yep. Okay. That's so a shout gonna, you, That's true. Or I'm gonna try to sneak up initially. Take some movement to get you know just up the stairs about just just in front of Adonis. Just enough to make it difficult to make. Just, and I'm going to attempt to, like, see if I can, with my sleuthy wolf nose, see if I can, like, smell anything or, like, notice anything up there with where I'm at the top of those stairs. First, I need you to make a stealth check as you're making it to the top of the stairs. Okay. Whew. Ten. So you're, you're walking and you're silent until you start moving past Adonis where both of you kind of get slightly off balance and you hear the creaking of these old winery stairs you make it to the top and you start to smell and you smell this just ripe creature like unbathed earthy like creature um as as grasping weeds and vines sprout from the stairs and they start to wrap around you and Adonis now at this point the whole stairs are covered in these vines writhing and twisting around your uh, calves up to your thighs um, I need both of you to make a strength saving throw ooh I get advantage plus one uh, it's going to be a 21. I get a 7 plus my inspiration. So, I get 12. Alright, so both of you, well, actually, Gudrun, these vines start to wrap up you and you just lift both of your legs like you're high step like high stepping through mud and these vines just shatter break off your legs and like as they try to climb crawl back up your legs there's like not enough of them to reform adonis on the other hand these vines are twisting around you up your legs and around your waist you're pulling at them but they don't seem to give with one last final pull, the vines start to break off of you and you break free of the spell. Can't well actually be into a USA. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the nice compliment that Buyo gave you about yeah. how you didn't really do anything last time. Yeah, it's like, what? 
It saved me though. I should have rolled that four. Oh, well. oh confusion. I have confusion. It's a lot of bullywogs. There's a. Uh, are those the vines? Yep. Just twisted vines. Nice. Is that? Did that all happen as a result during my turn? Yeah. Um, Reactions. Do yes. I do I have any movement left? No. Is the bullywog sharing a space with a vine? No. Did that perception count as my action? Yes. Okay, then I'm done. I'm gonna try to move past Gudrun now that he's made it twice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thought I could get more done. Luckily, they don't stack. So, um, you make it up to the top, and you see the earthly creature with um, that just cast the spell on the staircase across the way. It's small. It's about a uh, buio sized. Dude, frick this guy. Or girl. Or girl. Uh, it is a female. Frick this, frick this girl. It's Puyo's girlfriend. Is it dark up here? <laughs> no, there's 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 lights from there's light from the windows. So, <laughs> yet. How far can I move? Can I? So the intent is to get up there and cast Dragon's Breath and use it. You but could. If, if I know that I can't get up there and do that, then I'll be. You would be twenty feet from the druid. Perfect. Uh, so I won't do that, but I will get close enough to cast a Witch Bolt. Ooh. Which Bolt it is. Um, will you remind me which Bolt? I read it the other day, but... A beam of crackling blue energy lances out toward a creature within range. I mean, a sustained arch range is 30 feet, by the way. Um, so... It's dope. I gotta make a range spell attack on the hit with 1d12. Each of my turns, I can use my action to deal 1d12 automatically. And then it ends if I use my action to do anything else. And it's concentration, so. Okay. So I gotta roll it. So you see a dot, well, actually, it, no one sees this other than the creature it's attacking. It pulls a, a charred twig out of its component, out of his component bag, and he starts muttering some words, go ahead and roll an attack. As this crackling blue energy releases from Adonis, from within Adonis. Uh, 20, not natural. Uh, let's see. So. Yeah, that has. It's a dirty 20. Ooh, that's one point of damage there, Chief. One point of damage. Damn it. But it is marked with your witch bolt. Yeah, hopefully I can move away. If not, then I guess I'm there. It is uh, marked. Or wait. It is marked. Ah. Uh, um, you can move back to where you were. Uh, I just want to get out of the way if anyone else is coming up, though. So I guess. Yeah. I you can, you can make it to the corner. Yeah. That works. That's good. All right, Holland Kelly. Kelly. Holland Kelly. Uh, Helena would like to move Bullywug to Gudrun. Oh. Is the Bullywug getting trapped in pots? He's a spirit. Yeah, he's a spirit. Oh, just kidding. And Helena, hearing the commotion above us, me, yep, you can. You can. Yep. would like to move towards the stairs. As far uh, as she can, without using dash. Okay. And now she will dash. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. Fuck. Vines. Uh, this is gonna make it real fun for me. Kelly should have went first. Okay. Oops. So. Um, Adonis, you watch 
Let's see. Oof. Oof. I mean, Tally's just gonna file it behind Helena. Wondering. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so quiet. So this creature runs up to you. It pulls out it pulls out mistletoe and a shamrock leaf. Oh, why you make Booyo jealous? Oh, uh, the Blarney stone. Do this. So it's the, the mistletoe and the shamrock leaf is hanging from its staff. And you watch as this like crystalline energy circles down the shaft of the staff, and now there's like a almost like a, a carapace um, shell covering the staff, but that is its entire turn. Not so fast. Uh, Callie was going to try to go as far as she can. By the way. Oh, I forgot about Callie. I'm a dick. Thirty. Yeah. Minutes. Oh my, this is actually going to change everything. Um, yep. Callie needs to make a strength check. To see if she plows over Helena and Gudrun. She gets a plus two to five. Okay, it doesn't change everything. She's stuck behind Helena and Gudrun. And uh, for her action, she will pout. <laughs> Go for it. Performance check. <laughs> Just count. That's it. That <laughs> fails. <laughs> Ravens do not seem to fail. All right. Um, I need. I mean, it's Mark stuck. Arena stuck. Julio, it's your turn. Can I squeeze through the barrels? The staircase. Yeah, you can you have to go all the way around. Um, no, you you can move through them, especially. Yeah. I'm small. Yeah, you can you can move through. All right, so I'm gonna make a make a strength check for me, actually. Strength check. I, to okay. squeeze squeeze between the crack. I'm already small. Can I do advantage? No, only disadvantage and strength. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're a small disadvantage. Only disadvantage. Well, because 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 you're light light footed, I'll give you disadvantage. You move through people very well. Disadvantage. I said advantage. You said disadvantage. You said disadvantage. It's on the recording. I said I'll give you disadvantage. This is <laughs> disadvantage and disadvantage. <laughs> Sorry, straight saving throw. Okay, straight saving throw with advantage. Little bit down. Uh, twelve. Twelve minutes. So you can make so it through. My my goal is to uh, go as far as I can and then up the staircase, and yeah. I can move through people no problem. And oh. as far as I get, I'd like to use dash after that. Okay. You can get just to the top of the stairs right there. So okay. it's it's still can gonna I, be. Can I check? Uh, can I see what's happening with Adonis and whatever is going on over there? Yeah, you see this like creature about the size of you with a staff twice the size of both of you, like rearing back, about to whack Adonis over the head with it. Hi, me, hi, me, hi. Is that so? I don't need to do an inside check to see that that's what's going on. Uh, it's very clear. Okay. Very, very aggressive pose. Aggressive. So you have. I have. I have. I have. Knock. I have Gudrun and Adonis up. Then we're back to the top of the round. Hello, Callie. He's just yelling at that. I'm up. I'm Let's go. All right. I, I am. Uh, bully wall kills you. Bully wall kill. How long? How long does that bully wall last? A minute. Five. Uh, bully wall lasts one second. One yeah, second. Yeah, like I have a No, no, shh. Okay. He lasts. Concentration, one minute. Okay. All right, you're up, All right, I am going to grab my great axe as I charge 
up the stairs, around Buyo, at the enemy creature. Can I make it to him? Yep, with five feet of movement left. Okay. So I am, you could actually move here. Awesome. Okay. Advantage? Yes, sir. Without having to reckless, this is perfect. Okay. But you would and, you would lose your rage because you didn't attack last round. Oh, that's right. All right, that's okay. No worries. Okay, and advantage. Let's go. <laughs> Damn it, <Wow>. nine. <laughs> This, this small creature rearing back to hit, a, hit Adonis looks up and sees this battle axe coming at it. It tumbles out of the way. It comes back up and is now about to the, the plant end, the, the bottom end of his staff. It looks like it's about to still jab Adonis in the, in the stomach with it. Um, but Adonis, you're up. Hey, oh, you, you, oh, no, you're not raging. Yes. I have a question, though. So it says, and I don't know if this is language where I'm reading, I'm to I could totally be reading it wrong, so I'm sorry. Um, it says it ends early if I'm, end if your turn ends and you haven't attacked a hostile creature since your last turn. Or attacked so, by one, right? Or attacked by one. So since I, since I biffed, yeah. It was an attack, though. No, you, yeah, you're, you're, you're pulling out of the vines. And you're stuck. You're just stuck on the the stairs. That last turn, you moved up the stairs. Oh, that's true. But since I just attacked before I ended my turn, do you see what I'm saying? It says you ended you ended your last turn by just going up the stairs. Not. I don't need to drop things. So that's all right. Okay, cool, perfect. Or did you? I'm I'm a calm Gudrid now. I don't think you attacked those twigs that last turn. I didn't. I just. I guess I was just confused by the language in this. So I'm yeah. good. I'm calm and collected as my rage ends. All right. Super calm. Super calm. It, it Danis. And do I want to do this? Okay, I do the one in D12. 10 damage. You see, it like, it was, it was about to try to hit you with its staff and its whole body seizes up as this blue energy just surges through its body, almost illuminating its, I don't know, just illuminating it, sure. Um, is that a bonus action to do that or an action? That is my action okay. and, um, yeah, that's, never mind. I was gonna do something else, but I don't have the owl owl. Um, that's it. That's me. That's what I do. Alright. Helena Cali. Helena would like to move the bullywug into Gudrun space. How far can I move? 30 feet. I believe. Okay. Mm. And then Helena herself, yes, 30 feet, would like to move to the top of the stairs and see if she can get a clear line of sight yeah. on the creature. Oh, yeah, it's little. How, how much of that movement did that take? That'd be 10 feet. Can I continue moving so I open up the staircase a little bit for other people? I uh, care. Uh, yes. Yep. No, towards the other side of Booyah. Um, these are, these are like open, open baths. Yeah, yeah, towards like the south side of Booyah. Is that this, on the balcony or is it? Oh, that's the wall. Yeah, this, this is the balcony, it's the railing. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the north side of Booyah is fine. Okay. And Helena would like to use Eldritch Blast on the Druid. Go ahead and make that attack. A 18 to hit, and that will deal 10 damage. Ooh, look it up. Another Eldritch Blast damage. It takes it, it takes it across the chest. It's like falls to one knee. It's breathing heavily. It's not looking good. Um, Callie. Callie tries to rush up the steps. 
Okay, that's 25 feet to the top. And she Actually, that would be 30 feet. Yeah. No, it'd be 20, sorry. 20 feet to the top. I got it. She keeps going so that she can also <clears throat> She's We're just a bunch of eldritch, eldritch friends. She can move there with her movement. You got an after one. Um... <clears throat> Oh, uh, wait. That doesn't look like the right dice. Yeah, it is. Is, it, is that what that looks like? Yeah. Yeah. I okay, guess so. One. Okay. So she goes to, to get this energy out of her and nothing happens. <laughs> One unfortunate part of Wild that was Magic, the noise. I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we suck, guys. So Adonis, you're getting a nice, uh, maybe crack over the head with a quarter staff. Oh boy. Ooh, actually, that is, that's wrong. I lied. Oh. Hit me. <laughs> so you, you, you see this druid bend over with its arms crossed around its body and it strains its posture and throws its arms out. I need Gudrun and Adonis both to make constitution saving throws. Okie dokie. As a loud, thunderous boom erupts from the druid. 19. 12. Well, you both succeed. So you'll take half damage and you'll stay where you're at. You yep. are very, at this point in the campaign, you're very familiar with this film. <laughs> um, so that is five points of thunder damage to both of you. It was ten. Half to five. Oh, no. And luckily, Adonis, you don't go tumbling over the banister. Oh. Lucky day. I did that once. I did. Yeah. You did do that one. I didn't mean to fall over. I meant to throw the other guy. I thought it was going to be sweet. Turns okay. out it wasn't. I it got, was pretty sweet. It was pretty it was dope. That was dope. I got Booyah, Gujran, and Adonis. One second, sorry. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to see that move that that. Uh, <clears throat> all right. I can see that move that that uh, sexy halfling made. The, the, <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it that. The druid. It's a female it's druid, right? What? It's a female druid. It is a female druid. But is it? How old is she? Uh, you, you can't really tell because she's just covered in um, a bunch of. There's like moss on her face. She's just got a bunch of. Uh, Animal skins covering most of her body. It's hard to tell. Does she work? Does she look better or worse than Helena at her work? <laughs> I'm uh, way too tall for you. She looks worse than Helena at her worst. Okay. All right. All right. Then I'm not going to be uh, afraid of casting dissonant whispers and just throwing some horrible look in souls at her, including. Uh, you can't thunder wave for shit. They didn't even get thrown by you, so you're worthless. It's a wisdom save. <laughs> wisdom save, and I'm doing that. <laughs> didn't even do it. Second level. Okay. Uh, that would be a sixteen to save. Sixteen save, so it's half damage, but I get forty six. Four. Forty six damage. Just kidding. That's a great roll. Or a five. Five half to... No, no 11, 11 oh, okay, half. Okay, sorry. Rounded down is five. I'm not looking at the screen, sorry. Wow, Jesse. We you don't see, forgive you. You see it start to like seem seem bothered by these, these whispers that like echo in the hall. Um, well, it, it proceeds as echo, like echoing through the hall, telling it's... it's um, inadequate is the word I'm searching for, and uh, it seems to shake it off pretty quickly. Gudrun Adonis. I am, uh, 
pretty mad, but I'm not raging mad. So I'm gonna. <laughs> you I'm also gonna get, you also get healed. Oh yeah, that's true. And you heal four. Four. Is this four heal. or five, Helena? This is. I healed Ismark once, and I think Gudrun three times. I think you're right. Let me check. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's healed him three times. So that's the fourth one. Okay. Go ahead and do turn, Gudrun. All right. Reckless attack. Go ahead and roll on advantage. Uh, 22 to hit. Hits. Okay. I'm going to. Damn it. Uh, three, but then I'm going to also, I'm sorry, six damage. Then I'm going to use my Orcish Fury extra attack feature to add another d12. For a total of nine. That was worth it. Nine points of damage. Whack! You carve into the back of this uh, this druid. It's now bleeding across its spine, hunched over. Um, look at it. Very rough. Kind of scared, too. So I got a Helena and a Callie. No, it's uh, Adonis. Adonis. Oh, sorry. Gudrun Adonis. Helena Callie. Uh, okay, here comes another 12. Two points of damage. It sees it seizes up its whole body hunched over, like white not playing its staff, unable to release its muscles from this energy. It's still standing though. Hit him with a hard Tom Cali. Helena will shoot another Eldritch Blast at the poor druid. Feeling sorry for it if she wants to put it out of its misery. Okay, go ahead. But I also um, am going to move the Bullywug if I can to Booyo. 30 yeah. feet separate them. Yeah. Oops. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, that's the witch pull. Yeah. How long does that last? Is that a minute also? Concentration a minute? It's concentration one minute. Yep. So I should have actually, I took damage, I should have for that. Yeah, constitution saving throw. It changes my whole turn, except for I got it. Yeah, yeah. easy. With Helena's Eldritch Blast, she hits, uh, she shoots a 19 to hit. Yes. For a whopping two damage. <laughs> Stupid, they won't die. It's like so, it's still clenched. At this point, it like falls over from the energy that slams into it, falling prone. Um, it able, it muscles itself back up. Callie, it's your turn. Callie. What? <laughs> Callie, pissed off that her magic sucks, <laughs> runs up and stabs it with her dagger. This is what she's doing now. With a uh, 22. 22 hits. Uh, <laughs> for one damage. Please, please let this be the finishing blow. Five damage. Did more than the, than the Aldrich Blast. How does, how does Callie want She's <laughs> like, she's so pissed that her spell didn't work, and she's been working on it, she's just trying to get better. She just stabs it and just takes it to the ground and just keeps pushing. And pushing Please add some like... <laughs> so she, she, has, she has both her knees on its thighs with this dagger all four or five inches of the blade just buried into its intestines and she just pushes it to the ground with all its all, all of her weight on its legs as she stares into its eyes and watches the life leave them. So you have... You still have six turns with the bully log. One is going to heal Booyo. Six turns? Yeah, so you did, you did three with... Uh, 
three on Gudrun, yep. one, one on Ishmark. That's four. Right. So you still have six turns with the Bully Wall. Um, I'm going to spend three <clears throat> on Booyo. Okay, roll 3d6 to heal. Six. Ooh. Six. Ooh. Oh. One. I was really, I was really hoping to say the number of the beast. If only you could still but say it. You didn't. You did nope, say you it. Didn't. No, you didn't. And at this point, I'm gonna assess the health of the group. How does everyone look? I can do a medicine check because that helps. Yeah. I feel like I should. That's your right. A twelve. Um, you see that Ismark is doing pretty well. Uh, he's taken. You've watched him take quite a few hits, but um, I wouldn't consider him in dire straits at this point. Helena wouldn't either. <laughs> she definitely wouldn't. Hey, she bye. healed him. Um, you can you can let Helena know around about where you're at, how hurt you are. Callie is twenty nine out of thirty. She's just fine. Uh, <clears throat> I have 19 of 47 health remaining. Oh dear. I, there we go, I fixed it. I originally took my health off my max HP instead of getting- How's Booyah look? look? Booyah looks good. All right, the bully bug smelling Gudrun's sadness and wanting to, <laughs> wanting to make him his brave self again is gonna go give him three hugs. So three the, hugs of healing. The bully wall comes and heals you for three d six. Four. Blech. Two. Blech. I can't hold. Two. Long. He's gotta go. Total eight health. To Gudrun. I got a Cali that's oh, That's fine. And with that, the bully lug dives into the big cask of wine. <laughs> <It disappears. laughs> I love it. Bully is my favorite character, to be honest. You've been digging that bully wog lately. He might be my he might be my favorite character too. In the whole campaign. Even more Are we than, break? I'm sorry, I had to go to the bathroom really bad. This is the cost of the healing potion. When you play this the salad, you have to pee. <laughs> this is the healing potion. You know what? If you want to put that rule in since you're not actually a cleric, that's fine. We're still recording, right? Of course yeah. we are. Like, All right. definitely impose those rules on us. Ooh. If you mm. want, if you want heal, you gotta take a shot. That's right. If you want the bully wag hug, you gotta hug your belly with some, you know, some shots. And then you say, you can pass Ismark, it. please. That's cool. Yeah. Remember, That's cool. there are it's rules. Cute. And then Ismark goes, you're right. I must heal people because I am good and that there are rules. Rules is rules. Because that's all Ismark cares about. Booyah, I think the only way we can save this campaign at this point is if you get Irina pregnant. <laughs> Plot twist. Okay. Like, Blue is not interested. Said it's a half human, half half halfling. It's a half vampire. Oh my 75%. God. I don't think, I'm not sure. I mean, 64. It'd be up to the DM, but I'm not sure a halfling and a human can really. It would totally. It would totally thing. fit. I mean, yeah, procreation. That's what I mean. Half a halfling's just a fourthling, right? <laughs> no, it's 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 a three fourths link. Okay, so why is it called a quarterback whenever the <laughs> halfback is actually behind the fullback? Like, I don't understand. He's fully back. Yeah, but the fullback isn't. He's half back. Yeah, so he's half back. Whenever the halfback is fullback, is the half, but he's twice the half human. The quarterback. <laughs> hmm. Listen, just do her and find out what happens. <laughs> the only way we can keep Ismark on our cause is if he has a nephew or niece to take. I care feel of. like that's not going to make him like us more. I don't. I don't think. Oh, well, Buyo's not Definitely. interested in well, keeping Buyo Ismark in the mix, especially when he finds out what Buyo really is. If Buyo goes to the church a lot often, then he will uh, support the child bearing. The Church of Irina's thighs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this crowd, Booyah. Damn. Oh, morning, Lord. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> morning, Lord. Stop. 
More like moaning, Lord. Hey. Do it, Booyah. Damn it, that's good. All right, here we go. Kroger chicken freaking uh, sucks. Hey, we like we like the music, or we want to we want to switch up here. Um, I posted we some suggestions. Up. We were just cra- <laughs> why are all these Enya tunes? In- <laughs> so <laughs> <silly>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, are we ready to continue? I'm ready. I'll have I am, re- as soon as I am ready. I am uh, ready. Are you, I am ready. Are you ready? Are you peeing for two today? Yeah, because like I was like, usually I don't pee so much. But now that I'm Callie, I just the ghost of Callie. I gotta pee. And she stabbed something to death. She deserves to pee. But... I agree. She deserves a pee. Okay. Um. We just need Booyo to start stabbing something to life. I mean, so give me, some, give me something to stab. You, we're just we're just gonna we're gonna jump right back in. So you all are dead. Sorry. Oh, what? Yeah. Perfect. Again. Let me roll for my character. Let me roll for my character. Let me uh, clean this this boy up here. So you are all at the top of the balcony. You see that um, we got these little caps on top of the fermentation vats. Um, on this, on all of them. Actually, can I get? Yeah, it's easy enough to notice. Um, this one is empty, which is how the um, lights were able to hide in there. And each one of these have like a, a six to eight inch, not not a perfect circle, but like cut out circle in them. And that's what you figure the creature was pouring the black syrup into. Gross. Uh, yes. What do you think she was putting in there? Can you, can you look at these, uh, these, uh, Little wine vats. I would, I, but I, I know nothing about it. I can give it a test. Um, Question. Hold on. Did I see anything that was going on with the creature porn shit into the vats? Let's say we shared that information. Okay, and we shared that information. I'd be happy to just cast Mage Hand and. Oh, then why did we share this with you? <laughs> so the it could ma- be real good, real good stuff. We don't know. Wait, out of which one did you do? I would, I would go for the far left one. He's gonna die. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, who rolled that? Oh, that's me. I was trying to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. I don't feel like you weren't supposed to do that I was not ready I did not have this prepared wait one second (laughs) I'm the worst (laughs) my poor bullywug just killed you so much just mm-hmm. enough that I am willing to try this. What's your Bullywog's name? Bullywog? <laughs> no, it needs to be like Joseph the Bullywog. Well, I'm, I'm, fairly, I'm fairly certain of the first part. Um, Shania. Will you... Yeah. Will you make a constitution saving throw? What if this makes him grow twice as much yes. and he becomes a human? <laughs> human. <laughs> I would love that. Come on. There we go. All right. Everything grows except uh, one part. That's an 11. For the constant figure. Saving throw. God fucking shit. You he want to go to bed. To save. Yeah, he's like, I wish you saved so I didn't have to keep looking. Uh... Well. R.I.P. Booyah. I mean, he got himself into this one. I don't know what to say. Okay, it's kind of be... It's, it's some wine, fellas. He turns into a druidic 
vampire I will order link. I will find it eventually. You know, this is really my fault for not having it marked. Yeah. Booyah, don't do it. I think Booyo Chef to take a shot because he drank out of the I think I already took a shot. It only makes this sense. Is a result of the shot. This is for the flavor of the show. The shot. <laughs> so you're no. you're poisoned, which means you have disadvantage on um, uh, attacks and ability checks. I do believe. Wonderful. Is this a normal because I'm drunk poison, or is it a poison because of the poison I drank poison? <laughs> Um, well, you also take 13 points of poison damage, so you tell me. <laughs> Ouch. That's like, that was all my bully bug hugs. Don't, don't drink that. Wait, so what effect happened to him? He just he poisoned and something? Or he... It tasted really good at first, and then all of a sudden it just, oh, my insides are, ugh. Okay. While he's, uh, you know, in pain, can I like stick my great axe in there and try to lace the blade with this? Yeah, go ahead. Make a uh, performance. Uh, make a make a general dexterity check. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be a five. Oh God! Don't uh, let me drop it. You you just dip, you just you, you dip it in there. Okay. Well, you you, you kind of you kind of put the handle in there to try to make the hole bigger, and you're unable to uh, to break the wood any further, and you kind of just get frustrated and give up. With some of my glass bottles, I'm gonna <laughs> scoop some of this up. I'll use two glass. I'll fill two glass bottles with poison wine. Sure. Man, I'm jelly. So <laughs> I have doubling over like. Uh, I'll take out the glass bottles if you put whatever you want. We just we text me two x poison wine. Yeah. That way I can actually I can put it in my inventory. I think. Yeah, but this really but horrible it, accident. But it, it actually it tastes like normal wine. You don't notice a thing. But I'm, oh, I, I took 13 points of poison damage. I think I noticed something. You have a pain in your stomach. It tastes completely normal. Pain in your stomach and the shits that follow. All right, that's fair, I guess. I, I think I would associate it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, you, you make, it makes sense. You, you make the association immediately, but it, it, it's, it's strange that it didn't change the taste at all. <laughs> I'm going to sigh as loud as possible and try to use my scroll of protection from poison on Booyo. Or, if I think it would work on the wine, I'd use it on... But I don't have any indication that it works, so I guess I'll just use it on Booyo. Does protection... I think... I think he'd already be fucked. Uh, would it remove the effects? I don't... I don't... I think, so, you touch a creature, if it's poisoned, you neutralize the poison. If more than one poison afflicts the target, you neutralize one poison that you know is present, or you neutralize one at random. For the duration of the target has advantage on saving throws against being poisoned, and it has resistant to poison damage. I'm sorry, I missed that. You... So, if it, so... so you touch a creature. If it, it is poisoned, please stop. Neutralize the poison. So the poison is neutralized, and then it would have, then it, then it would also have advantages. Okay. But, I am not a cleric druid paladin or the other thing. Yep, so I need you to make a wisdom check for me. Heart of the cards. Oh, uh, yeah. Five. Oh, no. I tried giving this to Helena once. She didn't. Yeah. So. You begin to translate the. Um, just like these like religious runes on the on the scroll and you're you're in it, unable to completely figure it out no 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 stop stop Adonis I got this this is I know what this is <clears throat> it's it's iocane it's iocane powder Ugh. it's what I somehow made this into a black tar and it iocane tasteless okay. 
you can't taste it. It's poison. I've, I've built up somewhat of an immunity. I've been working on it. I haven't quite perfected it. Is this just sit around and eat poison? Can I tell if he's telling the truth? Like, what's what is what's happening? I all <sighs> it's anti. I know what it is. Make an insight check. Oh my god, I really want to try it now to see if it hurts me. <laughs> uh, natural twenty. Ooh. Are you telling the truth? I am. I guess if it's kind of like. A, okay. I think I'm. I think I'm right, but I'm bullshitting. What do you think? I, I know that I've been poisoned, and I think I know what poisoned me. But I there's no way that I can ab- absolutely know. I'm just kind of ripping right now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Helena, do you have any way to? Neutralize this vat of liquid. I don't. I I have no. I can't do anything. But I th- I think the only way to to neutralize it is to dilute it. So I need more of it. No, no, no. I'm talking about saving the wine, not you. You need to. I mean, I want to be able to give that shipment back to uh, Irwin, but I don't. I don't think we're we not delivering save this wine. shipment. Maybe there's something on the druid that will give us some answers. Hey, Booyo. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Booyo! 14. You take five points of poison damage. Oh, shit. This is getting real. Uh, (laughs) I'm just gonna... You check your hand and there's there's some blood in the palm. I'm going to give the scroll that I tried to use to Helena. Or wine. It. It's hard to tell. Give Helena the scroll. Helena. Sorry, I'll take it. Make a, you can use it. Make a, make a wisdom check. But she can just use it, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I was just going to see how fast she was able to decipher it. If one more turn was going to happen between you passing it and her reading it. So the natural 20, you're able to make the connections almost immediately. And the, as soon as you're done reading the last line, the edges of the scroll begin to burn and then in a flash up in smoke. So go ahead and delete that scroll out of your inventory. Buyo, you are now healed from this poison. I have done it. You have a lingering. Or the poison is gone. You're not healed. The poison. You're, you've neutralized the poison. You're not. You, you no longer have disadvantage. All that's relieved. You just have a lingering stomach ache. Mm. Essentially. I would cool. have to do it because Helena. Hey, Helena, I, I will help a lot better. I will help. Make an investigation check with advantage. Anything for you, Booyo. I'll just investigate. It's okay. I'll just save my ass. Uh, but I'm helping. I'll roll all my balls for you. I'm glad someone recognized it. I got a 23. How do you have such high <laughs> There's a thing you do. He no, did. He took a, a natural he, one, though. I took a feat. <laughs> no, you got a 23 for the first one. That was his uh, adva- advantage. Don't worry, my natural one gave me a 12. So on her, there's just all of these like swatches of animal skin that cover most of her body. And she has the horned headdress. And you notice around her neck, she's wearing a necklace of human teeth. Ooh, that's baller. I want that. Um, other than that, there's like some... She's got like a, a bag of spell components, and that's it. Um, okay. Oh no, there's nothing on her use. There's some. There's a teeth necklace, I guess. Uh, I would like the teeth. Does she have some mistletoe? I saw it dangling from her staff. Oh uh, yeah, she used it earlier. You want mistletoe? Or do, you, do you want to hang out under it? Or? Mistletoe, shamrock leaf. There's a pinch. Of, there's a pinch of dirt. If she had a component's Ooh, pouch, out. like us druids normally have, yeah. finds his way underneath there as this conversation is happening. Somehow. You what? 
A handful of oak bark and a morsel of food. I toss the bag to Helena. Okay. I'll mark it down. I'll also add a spell component pouch to your inventory. Uh, Thank you. Nothing here. Actually, with a with a twenty three, you're actually gonna find her six gold piece that are like sewn into the. I had a, I had a twenty DC on that. Sorry, there's the, no in, into the animal skin swatches. I'm gonna pocket that. Wait, what did you just take? I just switched me, put it Is, in my pocket after tossing that gold. His mark will remember this. His mark doesn't know because I. Unless I have to roll for it, but you know. Unless is everyone just watching me? I was helping, so I mean, I, you know. I guess so. Helping, I guess Gudrun would be able to make a make a perception check. <laughs> oh, just to make things interesting. Make a sleight of hand, Adonis. Yes, I love it when people roll against each other. Uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> Battle of the shitty. You don't. You don't notice a thing. No, oh, I would. <laughs> I would never notice anything. True. All right. So you are all at the top of um, this balcony. Uh, Buyo figuring out um, it's poisoned one way. Um, the if, if way. If you would like to make a further investigation, Helena, as an alchemist, you should be able to do so with advantage. I would like to without Puyo eating it. <laughs> Whatever. So I, I know you were going to try to do that. I wanted to see if you still wanted to. So yeah, go I ahead. I would still like to. Go ahead and make a uh, wisdom check. 22. Uh, which one will I take? <laughs> You have two vials of diluted potions of poison. Can I derive what this potion came from? This correct wording. Um, You would have to take some time with it. Just looking at it, you wouldn't be able to tell what they put in it. It would also be a lot harder because it's most... It's mostly wine. Okay. We go drinks it to find. But you can't. You, 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 you can't. Tell Roger, you have a new formula. Like if if you're if you're spending time, like during during a long rest or in town or whatever, you can take extra time to investigate it, check it out, and uh, try to try to figure it out. I might like to do that. But as for them, I will not. Guys, I I think. We can't leave the wine as it is. I think we need to get rid of it. Well, get rid of it, but we're here to get the shipment to the to Valakai. Are they all poisoned or just this one? I only tried the one. <laughs> I can't let you try anymore. We're not going to try <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we just want to make sure that we can... We have exhausted every option to neutralize these and not waste so much wine. Well, a, a, a handful of wine is not wasting wine, but that's not what I'm saying. I, the I three that the three barrels of wine. I think we need to get rid of it all, all so it. we don't kill people. What are we going to tell uh, Irwin? I have a, s- a and, sample and of poison. Poison wine. I say we tell him first and then dump it later. But can we trust him to get rid of it? We will come back with him and make sure he does. Okay. I just I'm not gonna be the one dumping it and saying, Oh, it's gone. And then he's like, What'd you do with it? And then we're just like, Oh, it's gone. Here's the thing though, if do we all agree that this is bad? What? Yes. The wine. Yes. Booyah. I wouldn't be. You tell I, us. I wouldn't be opposed to trying some more. Hell no! I saw you. You, you took some samples, <laughs> and we can take some time to see if see see what you observe with those samples. But 
That's not a bad idea. I could but try to think of how it got poisoned and maybe there's, neutralize there's it. There's no way that uh, Gavin would be able to know if the wine was here before we got here or after we got here. You know what I'm saying? David. David. Thank you. It's a long way. There's no way you have any thing at all that can purify food or uh, drinks or... I sure as hell don't have anything like that. Um, well, I could turn this wine opaque. Rid it, this particular barrel that hurt me so much. Could you turn that barrel into a real barrel wine and it not hurt anybody that drank it? I would have to take time to figure out how to do that. But it's not no. I think we should take some time. We can take some time. Purify food and drink first level. Yeah. I would have to take a long rest. So yeah, you do yeah. You, pure, yeah, first level. You would be able to. Currently, I am not. No, but... Currently, I am not. <laughs> you know, able. It's, it's, get, it's getting late. I didn't want to travel back yet until the morning anyway. To purify food and drink. Can druids really not do ritual spells? Uh, must be just a thing. I don't have it prepared. Uh, you druids uh, sorcerers can also do ritual spells, but uh, druids are not ritual. I don't think druids are ritual. I can do ritual spells. Okay. Purify yeah, food and drink spells. is not a ritual spell, though. Are you sure? I'm yes. positive. Yeah, no, it's ritual, I think. Oh, it is ritual. But I don't you still you still have to have it prepared. Yeah, it's not there prepared, and I don't. Yeah, you guys are weird. Oh. Adonis, since you're so confident, I can purify it. Why don't you purify it? I'll wait for you two in the morning. <laughs> but for now, I want to make sure everything's dead. I was going to say, are we certain this is the last one? Did it? David? You said Gavin. there was David. I don't remember. Say there were more than one? <laughs> well, there's at least several, or maybe a couple. There's definitely I, not many. I don't know how much I'd be able to help other than my rapier staff, my fist punches. I gotta oh, remind them. Gudrun. What? We gotta find these druids. Well, what are we waiting for? I guess nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the nearest door. Okay. <laughs> Unless there's nothing on the balcony. I go with him. There are no, no doors on the balcony. But well, there how, is... How, how high up is this balcony? 12 feet balcony? or so. Like a 12 feet. But there's... There's... there's You can still see... Wait, I... Oh, shit. What screen are you guys seeing? Just... You've been sharing you're everything. Screen. Yeah, you're just sharing your screen. Is it... Your Google Docs. I see, like... The, oh. the OBS screen. I only see OBS. Oof. And now we only see that. Oof. I see three of me right now. You weren't looking at your alchemy notes. Now no, I see weren't. all of Ben. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> My camera I see the other you people see? stopped working. I did see that. Yeah. Your neck beard. It's grown. Oh, my neck beard. You are a neck beard. I'm about to jump off this balcony. We're stairs. <laughs> I want to display my extreme athleticism. Because I, I displayed my investigative. Okay, okay. Hold on. I was... So, there is, like, a railing to the balcony right here that leads to these stairs, and there's a door right there. Yeah, that's where I'm going. As long as... Booyah, I think you should stay, stay back with me so I can help you. And tell you not to drink poison. Callie will be clean. Uh, I don't know about that. She goes with them. <laughs> Sounds like a bad idea. Sounds like that's not what I'm into. I just want to keep you alive. Buyo, you could go boom boom. Buyo, go boom boom. It was all about going boom boom. 
Can I just get a an order in which we're gonna go into this room? Me and Tally. Yeah. Okay. I'm going last and I'm recommending that Booyo goes second to last. We're gacking it. As I am recovering from the He makes his own decisions though. I will gladly lag behind a little bit this At least time. He's resistant to poison for a little bit. That's nice. That's nice. Is that snapping like, yes, you're right, you go drink more poison? Well, I don't know what that snapping is. I don't know the other two barrels please. have in them. Gudrun, go ahead. All right, I open the door. We've already formed a train. Let's go. Choo-choo train. Maybe seven people. What's Everybody still brand new. Seven people now. lined up. Five, five foot on, increments. Gudrun. Oh, my God, what is that? Here. Is that a chandelier? It is a thing. It's a ballista. It's a a bong. Is that a crane? It is. It's a cannon. It's a crane. Damn. I've been drawing so many 2D diagrams, boy. Wait, what is it? A crane? Yep. Yeah, that doesn't look like a bird at all. (laughs) (laughs) So. It's executive birds. You open the door, and this room has a wooden floor with a 10 foot hole cut into the middle of it. Looming over the hole is a wooden winch. Perched atop is a man is a man with wild hair, rotted teeth, and skin painted red with blood. He waves a gnarled staff at you, made from a black branch, and babbles at you. I'm just gonna what go does ahead. He babble? Yeah, what does he say? The babbling that Helena understands only is you can whisper it to me okay or you can change the language to druidic maybe I kind of want to just he's covered in blood and he's babbling yeah okay that makes me uncomfortable while this is happening I'm just going to grab a javelin and just whip it at this guy I'm pulling a Helen on this one. <laughs> well, we're going to roll initiative first. Okay, take it 25 to 20. Adonis got uh, 20. Dirty 20. Okay. 20 to 15. Callie got 19. Go ahead, Adonis. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> uh, 15 to 10. Oh, oh, I got 13. Oh, three. Okay, 10 to 5? 6 for Gudrun. 5 for Buyo. You will watch as the druid jumps into the hole. What? And you hear this loud thud and some, like, rustling around... And he is currently nowhere to be seen. Adonis, what are you doing? What the frick? I am casting Dragon Breath on myself. And running over to the hole. It's 10 minutes concentration. One minute concentration. How long is it? One minute. I hope that doesn't have too much. Okay. Um, So you run over to the hole and what? I'll jump in and go after it. (laughs) What? Wizard. Okay, so you jump, you jump down, and you run into the opened. Let's see. Uh, well, you take one point of force damage as you land on the ground. Um, you. Let's see. There is my plan of filling it up with poison wine. 30. Okay. So you, so you you run through the south door opening. There are two double doors opened that lead into the fermentation room, which you were in previously. But also there is this ramp to the south. Uh, I, I mean, how far have I gone? Cause... That's 30 feet. 
so you can dash I'm and go somewhere. I'm dashing after it. I'm going to hold there, and if anything pops out in front of me that you know, I don't recognize as a friendly, I'm going to give it the old breath, <laughs> which I will say is a... Give it, the, give it a good old-fashioned fire, fiery breath. Okay. A case of twigs, I see. I see. No, I got it. All right, Callie, you see Adonis jump down this hole. What are you doing? She's following. She loves the uh, you know, spontaneousness of it. She also takes one point of force damage as she jumps down into the hole. Callie. And then Cody. Cody. Uh, I guess she would try to go one after the other, like seeing him go down there, go down too. So would she have seen the direction of Dr. Ran? Uh, the door is open and you're standing in a hallway. She can see you when she jumps down. So she can she can catch up to you. All right, Helena. Helena, you see Adonis and Kelly jump down the hall. What are you doing? Uh, I rain past five people. Yeah, really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing. Can I are you sure attempt to use anything? Uh... Can I progress forward at all? Through all these people? I probably can't. Uh, you can step down. You can walk up to the gap. I don't want to jump down. So you can, you, you can, you can, at 30 feet, you can end up where Adonis started. Is it possible? Uh, I'll do that. And then, S is in the way. with my bonus action, as I'm passing Buyo, I will give him three magically enchanted rocks. Okay. Ooh. What are these? What are these, Helena? Throw them. Throw them. Sorry. <clears throat> Throw them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right now, just draw them. <laughs> So that is, with a bonus action, I'm using magic stone to enchant three magic stones and giving them to Booyah. Which are, he can throw 60 feet and do yep. 1d6 plus my spell casting modifier. In case he doesn't want to get in the fray and get himself killed. That's up to him. Sure. And you will use it as a ranged spell attack, Booyah. All right. But it's my damage. <laughs> he rolls it, but he gets my damage. Yeah, he gets, he gets your plus, yeah. yeah. All right, Gudrun, you're up. All right, with my extreme athleticism, I dive in the hole. You take one point of damage as you jump into the hole. Are you rolling for Yeah. How far did I jump? I would make you do athlete. It's 10 feet. That's actually 12 feet. Um, I would have you do acrobatics checks to see if it's halved, but I rolled a one every time, so there's no reason to figure out if it's halved. Sure. All right, well then, I had to come roll. around sometime. There's this door to the south, right? I'd rather it be on the, the, you know, the jump roll than when I'm critting with a monster, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a door to the south where uh, Donis and Callie are, are inside of. Um, Callie's actually right where the door opens. I'm gonna go all the way over to the door, if I can. Sure, you can go right up to him, but you can't get past him. Okay, I will ready my great axe if anything, any enemy should come, should appear and be within range. Um, Irina sees you all fucking jump down a hole and she says, um, I'll, uh, what, I can't, fuck. I'll, I'll, I'll cut them off at the stairs. <laughs> and she starts to make, I thought others would do, but. <laughs> she makes a break for the stairs instead of jumping down a hole. Booyah. I find out which way it's going. What are you doing? My, she my turn now. Yep. Poor is smart. Roll the four, so. Cool. I want to go into the room 
costume and just check it out first before anything, before I make any other decisions. So you walk from the room and there's this, there's two doors. Oh shit, no, sorry. There's two windows. These are two windows. This is not a room attached, it's outside. Um, mm -hmm. So you see two windows, you see this um, just loading mechanism for barrels, a long hallway, and what looks to be like a ramp going down here. There's nothing on that uh, northwestern wall. No. All right. Well, I'm not jumping down that well. There is a. There is a door right here. Okay. On the west wall. I'd like to thoroughly examine that door. Uh, how so? Uh, listen in the keyhole, look in the keyhole. Okay, uh, make a perception check. Perfect. 21. You listen, you look. There's no light on the other side of it. Um, you can't hear anything or see anything other than darkness. Do I have any more movement? No, you only have 25 feet. You do have an action you can dash. Uh... Actually, your action will be to, to perceive in there. Okay, good, then. This smart is going to follow the system. Top of the round. Hello. Let's see. All right, Adonis, I need to know what you were doing to figure out what happens. Um, so you, there's a door. There are double, do double doors to your left, which open up into the fermentation area, which you were in before. That's where you fought all the twig blights. It's underneath. Yeah, it's where the balcony is. Yeah, because like I jumped down. And I ran down and you, then... So you jumped down, then you ran south. And there's... Down. So to the right would be where we just... No, to the left. Well, to the left on the map I'm looking at, but for a dot, it would be to the right. Yes. Stage left, sorry. But to hell is the west. Okay. Yeah, there, okay. there you go. I was looking as I was thinking. So, uh, to your... To the right. To the west... Right. To the what? To the to the west. There's that area. South is a ramp. A ramp going up or both? It goes down. It goes up and down. Uh, I I take the ramp down. She chose down. All right, you made it thirty. You made it thirty feet down the ramp. And you still have not made it to a room. Would you like to take a dash action or wait there? Do it. Yeah. It's your destiny. I'll do it. I'm Let the dash flow through you. Okay, so you dash. And you make it down to the... Bum, bum, what looks to be a cellar. Cellar. It is very dark. So I guess you wouldn't even be able to tell it's a cellar, but I told you that, so you're welcome. I mean, I would probably guess since I went down. Sure, yeah. It's uh, significantly colder down here than it was on the other floor. It's also underground, so. Um, yeah, you just, you just followed this like sloping downward turret. Um, you could see grooves in it too that make you think that people push barrels up and down it. Callie. Callie's gonna follow Adonis. Um, and as she 
notice it getting darker, she's going to start to cast dancing lights. Dun, 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 dun. Four lights emerge and start circling in uh, Callie's hand as she practices when she walks around, illuminating a... Well, no, because you used your action. You can't make it there. Illuminating a tunnel. Yeah, she can't. I don't think she can. I don't know what it is. She might be able to move in 30 feet. Right? Bonus action to move in 30 feet? Um, yeah, because she can move them independently. Right? Yeah, so dancing lights are... On a bonus action, you can move the lights up to 60 feet. So, the light must be within 20 feet, not only. Okay. So she's going to try to just, like, extend a few down the hallway. Sure, so 60 feet in a row, about 20 feet away, four of them. Um, well, I guess two of them would still be, anyways. Yeah, so, so they're, they're 60 feet away and they're spread out less than 20 feet. Um, it does illuminate a wine cellar for Adonis. You see wooden pillars and beams that support this 10 foot high ceiling. Um, it is ice cold down here. It is split by uh, two like five foot thick brick walls. So there's like two, kind of like two cubbies on each side of the room. You can't see the into the west side, the shadows cast in there. Um, you can tell there's area over there though. Um, the side you're on, it looks like um, there's like eight foot tall wooden partitions um that also doubles as a wine rack the western rack stands about the same size but you can't see what's over there the the rack closest to you though is half full with bottles Helena. hey would like to go to the hole where everyone keeps jumping down but she would like to try to ride the crane down. Uh, that would make sense. Make an acrobatic check. Six. You try to grab the rope of the or the like the hook attached to the crane. Um, it slips out of your hands and you fall tumbling to the ground, taking one point of damage. How many ones are was that? Four. Yeesh. Very generous amount of one three. she rolled there. Thank you. I guess Helena's going to drink your last remaining health potion. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, her last five health potions is down. Uh, how much movement do I have left? You have 10 feet till you run into Gudrun, and that would be the end of it. I would like to run into Gudrun. Yeah. Okay. You don't see where Callie or Adonis went. Gudrun. Well, I just I look for Gudrun's big, broad shoulders and strong. Oh God. Glistening triceps. Ooh, I do work the tries hard. Don't forget his tusks. Ooh, Ooh yeah. And his his big claws. He's got such big claws. They're uh they're called talons. <laughs> Right. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, good you're up. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna try to, with some survivals, assess the situation. And see if I can see if there's any clues as to which way this thing actually went. What's so, currently in this room? Typically in the wilderness, um, you would get an advantage on this, but sure. it's harder floor, stone floors, you can't really follow any tracks, but it will be a straight roll instead of at disadvantage. Okay. Here we go. For our strong Gudrun boy. Uh, 10. It's hard to tell. Okay. You, you do know that your, uh, Callie and your Adonis did go south, though. Okay, well, I'll just stick with the pack and, and, and go with them. Okay, here we go. 
So you landed in this area where there's a wagon with uh, three barrels of wine on it. Okay. You ran into this area, which you chose to go south down this spiraling. Um, there's these doors that open up into the fermentation vat. And the three of you have now gone down that way. Um, actually, just so I don't lose track. We need some shakes. Yeah, we need, we need some better. We need to get them heartbeats up. The BPM's going. Where to drink at? So, Bottles for my boys. Kelly's there. Uh, I'm showing it off too much. I'm yeah. showing off the guns just moving the pieces around. I mean, that's exactly why you did it. You can, you can see my arms. I mean, they go in the shop sometimes, and they're gonna reach over and say, Oh, he's mine. Oh, oh. you just showing up biceps. He's mine. There's also a beard hair on the map that makes you feel worse about yeah, the situation. Okay. Alright, so Gudrun, you use your action to run up the, or your movement to run up the Cali. Yep, yes. Um, you have an action. Oh, okay. I thought maybe my survival check would have counted as that. Oh, uh, yeah, it does, sir. Uh, okay. I mean, ah, oh, dang it. Freak. This is the time for you to do this. Take it advantage of me. Uh, Arena enters the room. Uh, it's Mark's gonna do the same. And, well, he'll, he'll do it. Hopefully okay. it's in there and then we'll fuck. You don't know. Okay, Booyah, what are you doing? I'm fricked. Sorry. I would like to open the door that I'm in front of very okay. stealthily. Because I only have one camera, we're going to uh, theory craft yours. Uh huh. Use use the mind's eye. This is your hell of a cat adventure. So, mm. do halflings have dark vision or not? No. I don't think so. So you open the door and you reveal a dark chamber that's five feet wide. Wait, Dad. Light a torch. Okay, you're actually. Probably the same torch that Gujin gave me, although that might have gone out. No, um, that's fine. Um, were you always carrying one? Uh, he gave me one from the start and I lit it at the beginning of. Yeah, okay. Yep. So I take that back. You open to reveal a five by 20 foot corridor with a door at the end on the north I, wall. I, did, I didn't have it lit the whole time, that's for sure, but I'll take an action to light it and relight it. Sure, that's fine. So you have the door open and you reveal a five feet wide, 20 foot long corridor with a door at the north end. Is there anything in the corridor other than? Empty. Empty, all right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and sneak on towards that room. Make a cell check. Oh, oh, oh. Say 19. Okay, you do so without making much noise at all. You use most of your movement and you're up to the door. Would you like to wait there or open it? You still have five feet of movement. I will wait. I will, do, uh, can I make any check to see if there's anything moving beyond the door or? You've used your action, you've opened a door. You'll, you'll have okay. to wait. You just okay. have to be five Fine. feet of movement. I'll wait. All righty, Adonis, what are you doing? I can see things, uh, but how well can I see things? Not too well, not too far out. You can see essentially this. But is there any, like, uh, answers or anything I could like to get from a digital suit? There it is. Nah. Well. 
The the part the part you can't see at the bottom, there's a door on the south wall. Okay. And that's it. So it's, it is very close. Okay. I assume this is a mad chase. I um Oh. I gotta check light real quick and make sure because I want light of my own. I'll cast it on my uh my jacket thing, whatever. I can't remember if I can remember. Is it denim? <laughs> uh, you know Canadian tuxedo? For it to be. Put me in anything you want and I cast life on it. Light! As you light up your chest, you see something move behind the eastern wine rack. Through the holes, you, glif- you, you glimpse a half dozen humanoid figures, one with a full rack of antlers. You hear a graveling voice that mutters the words of a spell. Oh no. Um, five of the humanoid figures were flattened vines that begin to slither and writhe as they form into like a medium sized humanoid hunched over. The um, the tendrils construct their humanoid-like body. The tendrils lash out from their appendages and begin to wrap around your ankles, entangling you. These dark vines form a face that looks at you with bright, glowing, vampiric red eyes. The creature speaks out in a horrible voice, and it says, My will consumes all. The muttering you hear that you cannot see, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I don't believe the muttering. They are. Therefore, he can't get hurt. 16. So you save. And all of you hear a very familiar thunderous boom. Along with. Along with the shattering of full wine bottles just erupting in this cellar. There's just wine all over the floor, pouring all over your feet. And you take 14 points of damage, half to seven. Dead. See here? This is the wizard leads. You hear the loud. Wizard weeds. You hear like a muffled from the cellar. I think at this point, everyone can. Oh, I suck. I gave you the wrong description of a creature. Uh oh. Uh. Real one. And with that, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Um, there's this horrid human-like plant whose conifer-like needles grow across their bodies in quivering clumps. These medium-sized plants with evergreen bodies have shrunken, have sunken eyes that radiate a crystal-like blue that pierce you like razor-sharp needles. Oof. Do they still give a booming voice? Saying that yeah, they, but is it hot? They, they do not speak out in a horrible voice at all. Ooh, spooky is boy. At all? There is still a boom. Well, that, it, that comes from the humanoid. I need you to make a constitution save again for your dragon's breath. Uh, Man, that bummed me oh, out. Come on. Uh, eight. You lose Dragon's Breath, unfortunately. With Adonis looking at six creatures in the cellar with Callie and Gudrun short behind, um, that is where we will pick up next week. Poor Adonis, all alone in the Dragon cellar. Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath, Adonis. That's a fast